What's up everybody? My name is Francis Ramos. I am a petroleum engineering student at Texas Tech University and welcome back to my channel where I break down oil and gas concepts to help you become a petroleum engineer. Today's topic, we'll be going over some basic financial examples. This video is a follow-up to part one, which I did last week. I'm gonna put it a link over here or lay it down in the description. But last week I talked about some of the concepts behind some of the terms. So if you, uh, if you haven't seen that video already, go watch it. It's relatively short and uh, come back to this video and uh, we'll see you then. So, for the purposes of this video, uh, so you don't have to watch me calculate stuff on a calculator for a very long time, I'm gonna be using Excel, which is why I have my computer over here. So, uh, I will see you there. So in this problem, we, ha we are given a location. Our state is Illinois, County Jefferson. Our location, in our township basically is one south, three east, section number 15. Tract is southeast quarter or southwest quarter of the southeast quarter. Okay, and our co-worker gave us some estimates, a total production of five million barrels, and we have a few options of how we want to do this. Option one, we have a working interest of 100%, option two, 64%, option three, 75%, and there are more changes, but I'm pretty sure that you know you can read. But our questions are what is the total acreage? Uh, what is the max amount of payment for each option? If your company decides until the last year to drill, what are, the, what are your reserves for each option? If your goal was to maximize reserves, what option would you choose? And if you were the landowner, which option is best for you? Okay, we're gonna take this one step at a time. So what is the total acreage? Well, we know that one section is 64, 640 acres. So we know that we're dividing it twice by four. So four times four is 16. So that would be 640 acres uh, divided by 16. We're dealing with a 40 acre track. So boom, done. There you go. I'm gonna highlight in there, throw a little border just so we know that we're done. Now, what is the max payment of each option if your company decides to wait until the last year to drill? So, um, in this problem, what is the max amount of payment? So, because you're worrying about payment, now you're worried about, um, you're talking about your bonus and your delay fees. So we know we're dealing with 40 acres, right? Option one, What's our bonus fees? Our bonus fees is 400 and then times 40. So it'd be 400 times here and so on, so forth. Now for the delay fee, um, remember the first year is always free. So you take uh, the primary term and then minus one. That's it. This would be your payment times your acreage times how many years you're paying that much. So it would be delay times your acreage times how many years you're paying the delay. Boom. And you do the same thing for each and every option. So your total payment will be pretty much the sum of your bonus and your delay. And that's really how it is. Now it asks, what are your reserves for each option? And you might be asking me, uh, what is a reserve? Well, a reserve is, in the context of this problem, it is essentially your, your response, your share of, um, of production, your net reserves. Uh, I should have put a net there, but whenever whenever you hear reserves, uh, reserves basically mean your net share of the total production of that what you made. After making all of these payments, what is our share? 
That's the question. So, so we're gonna do the same thing here. Just for quickness, I'm gonna copy and paste this. Oops, control Z, there you go. We know our total reserves, our total production is five million barrels. So we're gonna do five million barrels times our working interest times one minus the royalty burden. And we do the same thing with option two and option three. Um, and these are our, um, these are our reserves. So next question, if your goal was to maximize reserves, which option would you choose? Well, pick the one with the most, uh, most amount of reserves, uh, which in this case, is option three. Option three, boom, there you go. If you were the landowner, if you were the landowner, which option is best for you? So, when it comes to a landowner, what do we care about? Royalty burden, boom, okay. So, and bonus fees. We already know your bon the bonuses, from the previous problem. We already know our delay payments, so assuming that this, the company waits until the very last year. Um, what, now all we need to really do is calculate the royalty burden of our reserves, right? Yeah. So, um, to calculate our royalty burden, so we need to take our reserves, and time, times that by our working interest. However, this time, we're going to be multiplying, instead of one minus royalty burden, we're gonna be multiplying it by the royalty burden. Now we know, um, now we know how much it is in barrels, but we also have to think about our bonus and our delay. So let's cut, for the purposes of this, let's, um, Let's uh, bring down through just copy and paste. This is pretty much, if I was to go off everything based off of the, um, based off of the problem, this would be my answer. Mainly because that is all I can do. I mean, in this problem, you don't know how much how many barrels, how much money is in a barrel. I can Google it really quick and give you a full calculated answer. However, this problem is unanswerable right now as of, as it is. I mean, you can justify it. You could say, okay, option one, because I make a million, 1 million, 200,000 barrels. Like I said, petroleum engineering, there's a lot of stuff that you don't know so however we have to answer everything the best that we can albeit when new information comes along say oh okay um i don't know gas or not gas oil is um i don't know sixty dollars a barrel and then you can convert and then add them all up and then you can get a better estimate however for the purposes of this problem we don't really know so that is the end of this video. Um, if, you, if you found this helpful, please give me a thumbs up, let me know, or if not, ask me a question down below in the comments. However, until then, I will see you in the next video. Peace.